Part of the theme 3 is also to determine the true bearing and the magnetic bearing between two points on a map. In this example, I say determine the true bearing from spot height 1145 in block B15 to spot height 1196 in block C14. So, it is from this spot height until this spot height here. So I'm going to zoom in a bit so that you can see a bit clearer what the process is to follow. I just want to get it to focus. There we go. So from this spot height to that spot height. So 1145 to 1196. Now it's quite easy, but what is really important in, a, in doing a bearing is you really need to work very accurately because only a two degree difference is um, allowed in the error when we mark this. So the first step to do is to draw a true north side line and east west line through spot height 1145. So if you are going to draw a line that's a bit skew, you are going to be inaccurate and you might probably lose some marks. Now to give you a tip, if you've got a see-through ruler, is to align the markings on your ruler with your line of latitude and that will give you quite an indication. Another thing you can do is to measure the distance from your line of latitude to the spot height, mark the distance here mark the distance there and draw a line through. So, to draw it, and another thing, that is the spot height. So you don't draw it halfway through the number, you have to use the map symbol and there's the spot height map symbol. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a true north-south line through the spot height. And again, please use your pencil, do not do this with a pen. I also have to draw a east-west line through the spot height and again you can see in this case I use the markings on my ruler but you can also measure the distances and do it that way. And there we go. Then I connect the intersection of my true north, south and east-west line to the spot height 1196 and again if you are going to go and you're going to move your ruler along like this you are going to get an inaccurate answer so precise precision uh, drawing is very important here and again you use the symbol that little dot there for spot height 1196 And there we go. Now the chances are good. You've got a protractor that only shows 180 degrees. As I explained in the presentation to you, from there to there is 180. We always measure from true north clockwise in this direction until we get there. So this angle we already know is 180 degrees. So I just need to add this angle here. So what you need to do is you need to align the markings on your protractor. Some will, protractors will have a little cross. In this regard, you will see this protractor only has a little mark like that. I make sure it's aligned perfectly with my north, south and east, west line. And remember, we're going to use zero. So that's 10, 20, 30. And you can see it is... 35 degrees. So the true bearing from spot height 1145 to spot height 1196, true bearing will be 180 degrees plus the angle that we've measured, 35 degrees and 180 plus 35, and that gives me 200 and 15 degrees. 
if I should ask you to determine the magnetic bearing from between these two spot heights, you will first need to go and calculate the magnetic declination. And that was explained to you in theme 4. And your magnetic bearing will be your true bearing plus your magnetic declination. And that will give you your answer.